My beautiful partner Elle, you looked absolutely amazing today. Very rarely do you allow yourself to be the centre of attention. Rather, you put others in front of yourself. Whilst we both want today to be very special, I really want this day to be special because you deserve nothing less than this. Thank you for just being you and allowing me to be me. I smile every time I think of the first night that we kissed. Elle lights up every room she's in and today is no exception. With her bright, bubbly personality and her wit, she's affectionately known as our little pocket rocket. You waited in the doorway till I finally pulled you in. I've never found a wine intoxicating as you live. Reese, my cheeky little bro. I still remember as you that cheeky little kid that carries Ben Bear around and calls me Sean. But you've become an exceptional man, and even though you're my little bro, I look up to you. Beneath the trees, hearing you tell stories well, I tried to sit and read. I've seen my share of storms within your voice, I found my peace. So I laugh until my stomach hurts while you lie there next to me. On that fateful night, I stumbled out of the boot of our shared account and friend's car and we properly crossed paths. Your presence gave me the feeling that I'd finally arrived where I was supposed to be with that someone I was supposed to be with. My darling Reese, you bring light to my day. Not because you fling open the curtains and proclaim that morning has broken. Not because without even being asked, you make me a coffee, but because you were there with me every day. Since that moment in my life, my life has been infinitely fuller and better for having you in it. And I now find myself addicted to your presence. Intolerable, in fact, is any thought where my life does not have you, your cheeky grin, your chatty mouth, <laughs> or your cute bottom in it. Sometimes I am so overcome with love for you, it feels like my heart is going to burst through my chest. Sometimes it's the big moments, our first Christmas in our home, getting engaged as the sun set and the winds picked up to 60 k's an hour in Mykonos. I love the way your smile or laugh lights up your face and how it fills my chest with a feeling of pure happiness. You understand me better than myself and have always provided an unwavering support to be the best man I can be and provide more love than I thought possible. Sometimes it's the thought of what's to come, expanding our precious bubble to raise children who become elite athletes. <laughs> <laughs> It's knowing that I get to stand by your side as your confident, your sounding board, your best friend. I love you with my whole heart, with a devotion and passion that can't be expressed in words, only in kisses, hugs, long walks together, overseas holidays every few years, a golden retriever, and last and but most importantly, children. It's knowing that after 10 years, you are my husband. I promise that I will do everything I can to help us build the life together that we want the life that you deserve, because I want you to have those heart-bursting moments as often as I do. I am so proud of the strong, loving, caring and thoughtful woman you have become, Ellen. And I'm proud to join my life with yours. Thank you for bringing me into your world and thank you for being you. Kind, considerate, generous you. Supportive, determined, loyal to the bone and so, so selfless. Now, it is with my great pleasure to introduce you all to Mr. and Mrs. Docking. Reese, you may kiss the bride. Be my bride. Please give it up to Mr. and Mrs. Docking. Yeah. 
So friends, family, what a wonderful day, what a wonderful place. When you want to raise a child, you need a village. And when I look around people here, you are the village. I got this feeling, love is in season. Let's take a drive down. What a great day it's been. This day was quintessential Reese and Ellen. So on behalf of everyone in this room, thank you for allowing us to all enjoy a holiday and witness the two of you get married. Let's go down to a place where we stand face to face. I hear you only sign your name. A man shakes your hand and a kiss. Ooh, we're the same. Absolute honour and a pleasure to introduce this beautiful couple, Mr. and Mrs. Doctor. Reese, my youngest son. So today I'm proud of the man you've become with your beautiful wife. Like other people have said, you know, he's honest, caring, been a wonderful son and friend. When Reese asked me to be his best man and give a speech, I already said to him, I've been writing this speech for eight years. 11 years ago today, Prince William and Kate got married. So you now share your wedding anniversary with the royal family. I can vividly remember when Reese talked about Ellen. But the way he talked about this girl in the Gemini, I knew instantly that this is going to be a girl that's going to be around for a long, long time. Ellen, I'm so lucky to have you as a sister. I'm so excited and incredibly happy for you both and I wish you nothing but happiness as you embark on this next chapter together. Now, if everyone can raise their glass to Mr. and Mrs. Docking, congratulations. <laughs> Ellen, when I first met you, it was in the delivery room, and I threw to the woman that she became, confident, independent, fiercely loyal to those she loves and admires in all aspects of her life. Reese, welcome. It's very respectful, very compassionate, very considerate, and cares very deeply about Ellen. For Michelle and I, the joy that we have in having you as part of the family means a lot. Let's get a little Drive on a thousand miles Hit every lotto along the way A man shakes her hand cause we win Boom, give it all away Our life begins that day Oh, we'll give it all away Our life begins that day enormously 10 years ago and I've never looked back. I love you. I've been told that happy is the man who finds a true friend and far happier is he who finds that true friend in his wife. I promise to love you, to be your best friend and to share my life with you forever. Mm -hmm.